Hello, yeah, in this video, um, I want to show you step by step uh, how to compare two slopes in two simple linear regression models uh, in R. Okay, so the problem is uh, if you have um, two simple linear regression models fitted, uh, they have their slope estimates, uh, and you'll wonder uh, if the true slope in the two population, in the two models, are actually equal, right? Um, then this is a way for you to really um, do a hypothesis testing for that. Okay. Okay. Let me here. Let's read in the data first, and then. Um, <clears throat> In this data set, we have uh, uh, SBP as the dependent variable and the BMI as the independent variable. Uh, we do a log transformation of both variables to improve normality of the data. And we fit a model one for males and then a model two for females. Okay. And to do that, uh, you, when you use the LM function, uh, you look at the subset option. And for example, here you get uh, subset uh, parenthesis sex equal to one that will use only the data for which sex equal to one. Okay, so that's how you fit a linear regression model for a subset of a data set. Okay, okay let's uh, fit the two models. And then let's take a look. So um, you can see um, for the these two models, um, the BMI both are significant, um, and the slope for the log BMI is at zero point two seven, and uh, the log BMI, the slope uh, for the females is zero point three nine. So yeah, they're still close to 0.3, both, right? But we're wondering if well, there's a statistical difference between these two slopes. Um, for doing that, we first need to uh, get the summary of uh, the coefficients. Uh, so we can use the summary model one, uh, then uh, the dollar sign coefficients. This will give us all the coefficients and their standard errors from the model fit. And then uh, we can extract uh, the slope estimates uh, and their standard error estimates from this uh, coefficient summary. We do this for both males and females. Uh, and we need to convert the standard error to standard deviation. So we need to extract the sample sizes. So N1 is the sample size for males, and N2 is the sample size for the females. And after that, we can convert the standard errors to standard deviation. And then we need to uh, use the library, our library called the BSDA. Um, so uh, here I already pre-installed this uh, package. So I will just directly load it into R. Um, so the, fun uh, the function for testing equal slopes is the tsum.test. Okay. And this is actually, um, we, it's the implementation of the independent sample t-test uh, while using summary statistics only. So you can see we only use the sample mean, sample standard deviation, and the sample size um, of the two groups. Uh, we don't have the raw data from the individuals. So these are all summarized statistics. Okay, so let's run this. Um, and uh, the p-values are really small, so it's uh, there's a difference between the two slopes. And remember when we uh, look at the uh, 
standard uh, deviations, uh, they they look close. Uh, so maybe we may want to try the equal variance version uh, for this t sub dot test, and we can rerun this test by specifying where dot equal equal to true. Okay, and now we have. Uh, Still have a very significant um, p value, and again, the uh, the true differences um, is not equal to zero. Okay. All right. So this is the uh, key uh, inform key piece of information that the library BSDA has this function allow us to conduct a two sample t test using summer statistic only. All right. Thank you.